Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with a second lesson for our White Box Learning Gliders 2.0 project. So my friends, let's get cracking. So the first step is to get to White Box Learning. You can use one of the links I gave you, or you can type White Box Learning student login. Remember, you had to have a little slip that got you signed in. We linked them to our Google account, and you can that quickly get to the research tab. Yesterday we did the background, we did the history, the principles, and the quiz. Today, you are going to do the science of flight, the weight, and then take the quiz. Once again, remember that you're working with a partner, and you need to read and learn all of these sections about the forces of flight, stability and control, and then also how weight affects a glider or any other aircraft that we're trying to fly. The system does have the ability to read to you if you click the read text. Make sure you are listening closely though because you really do need these to learn how to make a quality glider. When you get to the part where it talks about calculating weight, let's build this quick in a spreadsheet. Start a new tab, go to your Google, and choose Sheets. If you don't have Sheets, you can go to Drive and then click New Sheet from there. We brought a brand new sheet. We're going to name it FS for flight and space and this will be our calculator and then I'm gonna break that apart so that it's separate remember you can grab the little top corner and smash it against the middle so it splits your screen and then on the other side we're gonna put the formulas that we're building from so notice it says write out the equation volume equals thickness times the width times the length so I'm just gonna quickly write those up here you can see I typed volume, thickness, width, and length. All right, friends, so let's put in some numbers here. Our plane is 25 by 5 by 15, where the 0.15 is the thickness, the 5 is the width, and then the length is 25 centimeters. To calculate the volume, click on the volume cell and press the equal sign on the keyboard, then click on your thickness, hit the time sign, click on your width, hit the time sign again, and then lastly click on the length and press enter. We can use this formula several times by simply copying it down just like that. Below that we need to calculate the mass. The equation for mass is mass equals density times volume. We just found our volume number. It is 18.75. You can type that in. And then we need to find the mass that we're going to use. If we scroll back up, you'll see the materials that they give us for availability. Real quickly, copy those. And then over here on this side of the page, right click and do paste special. And we just want the values. So we know our materials can be balsa, bass, ochre steel. And the densities are 0 0.17, 0 0.41, 0 0.54, and 7.8 grams per cubic centimeter cubed. If we go back to our airplane, the one that we are building is a balsa airplane. So we put in the density of 0.17. And then our formula is, press the equal sign, click on the density number, hit the time sign, click on the volume number, and press enter. You can then take that and copy it down so we could have more of these calculations if we needed them. And now we need to move on to our third step where we convert this new mass from a mass in grams to a mass in kilograms. In the first box type mass in grams. In the second box type mass in kilograms. Using the shortcut is probably the easiest way. Let's type in our mass in grams which is 3.1875 or you could type 3.19 if you were rounding it. And then to convert that we simply hit equals, we click on the number and we multiply times 0 0.001. And that's how you convert from grams to kilograms. I'm going to leave a few spaces in case I want to do that again. And then we need to actually calculate the weight. And the weight equals the mass times the gravity. Now gravity on Earth stays the same, so we can type in the number 9.8, and then the mass is actually the number that we calculated up here, and we can simply type that in 0 0.00319. To 
calculate the weight. Once again, it is multiplication, so hit your equals. Click on the first cell, hit that time sign. Click on the last one, not two, and press Enter. So our weight in newtons is 0 .003 newtons for this project. Let's see if you can use this technique to solve for a different glider. Uh, this balsa glider has the following measurements. The length, width, and thickness are 28, 4.25, and 0.15. So then what you would do is you would replace the numbers up here just like you did the first time. So once again it was 0.15 for the thickness. Our width this time was 4.25. And the length, like I told you, was 28. That calculates our volume, so then we simply drop that volume in here, 17.85. You need to double check what it was made of. Once again, since it was balsa, you can type the 0.17, and that calculates the 3.0345. This time I'm going to do the formula by actually typing equal sign and clicking on the number I want, and then pressing enter. And then remember the mass in kilograms was just a formula. We'll use autofill to bring that formula down so we can calculate our new 0 .003 for this balsa glider. And then lastly, we need to finish with the weight. The gravity stays the same, so we can just pull that formula down so it's always there. And I'm going to use that same cool equals trick to click up on that value I want and then press enter. And then once again, we can take the autofill and make that formula come down and we just calculated that this balsa glider would have a 0 0.029 newton weight or 0 0.3 if you were rounding it up. Now that you've practiced this skill you should be able to determine the weight of any glider you create. You could also just for fun make up your own fun numbers and test your partner to see if they've got their skills where they need them. When you've got this all so that you understand it you may take the quiz on weight making sure that you're careful to score as high as you can. You can go back and use the information from your notes and just make sure you let me know when you're finished. Alrighty friends, I hope that helped you master the science of flight and that you understand how much weight is going to affect your glider when you build it. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.